Hey YouTube, Tutu back. This is obviously going to be the Master System sort of collection. Uh, okay, yeah, you could argue it's 99.9% .9 complete. Uh, but for me, it's complete. It's complete as it's going to get uh, until, you know, fortune, luck or whatever um, enables me to pick up the last sort of uh, one game. So, I wasn't really sure the best way of doing this, to be honest. Um, because some people wanted to be sort of talk about, you know, a particular game, like what was the the best find, and you know, a little bit of stories about where I got X, Y, or Z from, etc. So, I think, to be honest, the best way of doing this is probably just to pull them off, pull them off, right? Um, take them off in a big pile, kind of like I did the, the other collection videos, and just go through them. Um, basically, still yet to file the last two there, Home Alone and Master Combat. But obviously, as a, I thought, wow. Well, as all these are going to be coming off anyway, it'd be easier. So I even made the space there look uh, for them to go. But I thought, you know, as soon as I'm taking them off, I might as well just uh, do it as I go along. So, yeah, I'm not sure how it looks going to be. Um, I'm not going to probably go too in depth into any of them. It would just be ones that, that may sort of trigger a memory uh, for where I got them or how I got them or who I got them from, etc. Because there's a lot of people that, are, you know, quite a few people, should I say. A lot of people sound like there's thousands, but. A good few people that I need to say thanks to for, for, for helping me, you know, actually complete this. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get on with it and uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm hoping that this sees the light of day and I hope the, the fucking rain stays away. Alright? Cheers, guys. Catch you in a minute. Right, guys, um, yeah, not sure I'm going to tackle this. Um, so I've sort of under and under about the best way of doing it, should I just talk about certain games, should I just show the collection, as in just pan over it, um, should I do what I did, that's a bit loud, should I do what I did with the other sort of collections, although they weren't complete, uh, which is basically sort of literally just show the games kind of thing, uh, on, on, on a sort of carousel type bout, then I thought well maybe if I do, if I show some of the games, because let's be honest, some of the games, you know, they ain't the greatest, there's not much to say about them. Uh, but equally then, be, there may be a certain title that might sort of, you know, trigger a memory in my uh, slightly fossilised brain. Uh, and there might be a story behind it, and if you don't like stories, then you don't really, shouldn't really be watching my channel, let's be honest. Um, so, that's kind of how I'm thinking of doing it. Unless my conservative roof gets ripped off. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm probably going to after each sort of row, because there's a couple of rows, or each shelf, I might change the game because I think you're going to get really fucked off listening to the same background music. I'll put that on because I thought it's, it's got a nice intro to it. It plays, you know, sort of different stages and it's got a nice jingle to it. So, right. Um, thank yous first. So I've got uh, Butters, Aaron. I've got uh, Al Mewtwo, which is now the Irish gaming nerd. I've got Craig, Mix36. Who else is there? Obviously Craig. Craig, uh, Craig is here again. He's just very recently waded in with some absolutely brilliant manuals. Um, who else have I traded manuals with? Um, or stuff with? I think Tony Electric Adventures. I, I want to say uh, one of the mix to go. See, there's that many people. I can't remember. Well, Marcus X File 2708, who's no longer. I'm just not going to say he's no longer with us because that sounds a bit odd, but you know, he's no longer on, on YouTube. Um, who else was there? There's got to be some other people, I'm sure. I should have put more thought into this because I, I did sort of say to Alan on um, YouTube last time, uh, you know, apologies. Um, God, there's some of the people I know there is. If you have contributed, 100% thanks, honestly, because without you guys, it, this would have been uh, an uphill struggle. Well, it would have probably cost me a lot more money, let's be honest. Right, so let's, I'll just, just crack into it. So, I'll go alphabetically because that's how we're, they're done. So, I'm not going to open any of these because they're all in these blingies and uh, I just can't be bothered. So, Ace of Aces. I might not have to work out the best way. <laughs> fucking stacking them. Action Fighter. Everyone's got Action Fighter. Um, one of the first games I think I'm pretty sure I played on the system. Um, that's a separate card, cracking game. This is a very tricky game to get older. This is Adam's family. This was from uh, Germany. A lot of these, a lot of the rarer ones, 
we're, we're, we're off, off from um, across the pond. It, I mean, for a Master Sword games, it's very good graphics. Uh, obviously, very similar to Super NES and um, Mega Drive. Very good shoot 'em up, aerial assault. I think this one might have been a bit of special. Obviously, there are a couple of missing manuals for, but you all know that anyway. Uh, afterburner. Air Rescue, which is um, the sequel to Choplifter. Aladdin. Alright, I've got the Alex Kids now. This was a guy on YouTube, I can't remember his name now, sold me this for a really good price, actually. Uh, Alex Kids in Miracle World. Now you must think, well, everyone's fucking got that game. They have, and it's probably built in. Uh, obviously, the reason being why this is quite rare is because, obviously, uh, you know, say if you had the Sonic pack, this is why you, you'd go and buy this box, but very few people did. Um, which, again, it's, it's, it's the old... Uh, cliche, it's not that it's a great game that makes it rare, it's just the fact that no one bought it. Or no one needed to buy it. Uh, Shinobi World. Obviously, poor old Alex Kidd had a, had a rough, rough trot of it with Sega. Uh, High Tech World. In the, uh, he was obviously their mascot, as can be seen here. Uh, and Alex Kidd lost stars. But he just lost out to Sonic. Uh, obviously, he just didn't think he had it yeah, yeah, I didn't have it in him. He's too naive, he's too young, too young to take on Mario. Um, Alien 3. Alien Storm from the arcades. Another arcade one, Alien Syndrome. Altered Beast, that's definitely a butter special, I'm sure it is, I remember. American Baseball. American Pro Football, uh, Mr. Agassi, <clears throat> Arcade Smash It, some good, um, good games on that one. Right, these two are very similar, so we've got Assault City, which is effectively a light gun game, but this version is played with the controller, and the rarer, uh, again I'm missing the manual this one, is Assault City uh, Phaser version, so both the cart and the manual have like phase required. I know that Pete Snestastic he, he, he bagged a, a, a complete copy. I'm just missing the manual of this um, when he when he was collected for the mass system, which knowing Pete may well happen again. Um, Asterix. This is where the stack. This is one of the rarer ones. Uh, Asterix, the Great Rescue. This was Car Boot Find, I'm sure it was Secret Mission. Uh, Astro Warrior Pit Pop. I remember mate playing Astro Warrior a lot back in the day. So I had, I had two, two friends. Uh, we mate John and another friend who sadly passed away now, Darren. Um, Darren was uh, very much more. I don't know what you would say. Like he was more into the shoot mocks, whereas like John, we met John. We, we were like more of the sort of um, arcadey type games. If that makes sense. Um, so I remember Darren playing uh, Astro Warrior quite a lot. I'm sure he had this one as well. It was uh, Aztec Adventure. But yeah, I mean my exposure from the mass system is I only never had one. Uh, I played, like I said, on, on Darren's and, and uh, on John's mainly. Uh, probably one of the worst games ever. <laughs> back to the Future 2. Uh, back to the Future 3. I wonder why there was never a Back to the Future. Um, back Panic, which is a pretty good game actually. Basketball Nightmare. I always, always loved. Uh, you know, you get the, the sort of flyers and the advertisements. I always loved that single screenshot there. I always thought that looked absolutely awesome. Um, and it always reminded me, the cover always reminded me of like a PC Engine game. It's very PC Engine y. Not a bad basketball game. Uh, Batman Returns. 
Battle Outrun. Bad game. And a pretty good game actually is uh, Black Belt. And everyone's up text piss, probably the, the worst um, cover art ever in the history of cover art. So that's like one shelf done there. Um, I might pause it, everyone will have a break. You can probably cut it off here and come back and watch it another time. So I'll change this over and uh, crack on. Quick change. So now we're up to, we're still on the bees, but uh, second shelf. Second shelf down, guys. So I'm not sure. I think this has got a pretty good intro to it. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? Let's. Uh, full screen right one of the um, I can't remember my games are out of this now I should know this um, one of the 3d games 3d classic games um, I think I'm gonna say it's about six five or six probably wrong uh, this one was quite tricky to get hold of um, I think this was a cheeky ask on, on Flea Bay, I think someone had this in the bundle, and again, it, it's the old, you know, adage where people won't split it, this, that, and the other, but I managed, I can't remember, I'm sure it was a lady, I managed to convince it just to sound this one game, um, but it's Blade Eagle 3D, and again, quite a good shooter, none of my friends actually had the 3D glasses or anything like that, they didn't have any of that, this is a tricky game, this is, uh, this was a car boot special, this is an absolute fucking bargain. Uh, again, my mate Butters sorted me out with a manual for this one, and it's Bomber Raid. But I basically picked the car, the case up for it for a, a quid from, from the booter. Um, Bonanza Brothers, I remember playing this in the arcades. I remember seeing it on the Mega Drive and thinking, oh, great. And then the Mass System games, it's, it plays well, but it doesn't really do, it doesn't do the game any justice. I think it's a lot better. Um, yeah, okay. This is a game I hadn't really played that much. Uh, it's only been on. The, it was on a couple of systems. Uh, Snares Mega Drive. And it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. And the Sony's titles. Not one I'd ever played in the past. An absolutely classic. This game, you can play it all day. It's bubble bobble. Superb. This is a good um, conversion um, on the mass system. A quick look. I don't know if you can see, and that Pinocchio game is absolutely shy, isn't it? I thought it'd be a lot more uh, attract. The track mode would be a lot better on that, but it's not. Right, probably one of the, the holy grails of uh, mass system collecting. Unfortunately, this one is, is far from complete. But given the price of it, given what I probably would essentially be paying, I don't know, fucking 100 plus quid, 150 plus quid for it, which is a piece of paper, other than the manual, it's a buggy run. So, I can see this cover isn't correct. I doubt very much from where you're watching it, because I'm looking at it there, and it don't look that bad. Um, on the shelf, it's even less. But Alan, my mate at Mewtwo, print me off this cover. I say, it's not great. It does the job. It does it enough. The cart costs me... I think this was the most expensive car, I think it was about 37, 37 quid. I'd say considering this game, if it's complete and it's boxed on a good day, can probably push top 200. Um, with that, that was when I was looking at it. Uh, with the, the, the sort of cart and the insert, basically the box but no manual, it's easy uh, 150. Uh, it's it probably dropped, it, the price may well have come down, but I'm basing all this on when I was looking at it, when I was collecting, so for 30 quid, and all I'm, all I'll be paying an extra 100 plus quid for was a bit of paper. But again, if I see it, if I see it, if I'm that lucky, that I see it, I'll just upgrade it. That's not a problem, this is not going to, this collection isn't going to sort of um, stagnate, it's not going to stop. I'm not going to like, not look, I mean I won't go on eBay, <clears throat> that much is for sure now, I'm done with that. That's quite a nice feeling actually. Uh, I'm guessing people like um, all the SNES collectors out there, Jay, Cyber Snake, uh, Pete, um, Crash Test Gaming, yeah, all, uh, they probably do the same searches, you know, probably maybe once or twice a day, I don't know. <clears throat> I used to do like, I used to do a search once a day uh, when, I, when I got back from work for the mass system stuff, and it's quite nice not to not to have to do that. So just don't, 
you know, I'm not going to pay for what I want the stuff for, which is just for um, upgrades. I'm not paying. I don't need to pay the prices. It won't. It won't gain me anything. Um, next up, excuse me, we've got right your nose. It's uh, California Games, and the rarer of the of the two is California Games Two. Again, Craig uh, man, helped me complete this set with the, with the manual. That game again, it, it could be quite pricey. Or again, when I was collecting. So uh, actually. Whenever I refer to any prices and stuff being hard or whatever, that's based on when I was when I was looking at the stuff. Uh, obviously, it's probably it may well have gone up, it may well have gone down. I don't know. This was a game that, again, I think it was one of the early release titles. When I seen it in some of the advertisements, when you know, it was around John's or Darren's, always looked really interesting. Uh, it's Captain Silver. When I got it and played, it, I thought nah, it's kind of like a side-scrolling slash 'em up, but it's not. Kind of, it's, it's weird. It's a weird mix of mixture of platform. It's not really running gunks. It's not that quick of a game either. This is get one. Well, to be honest, I, I think I played it once. And I think I played the pinball version. It's casino games. I don't gamble. Don't know how to play cards. I don't know how to play poker. I ain't got a fucking clue. One of the cracking conversions uh, on the Master Stuff is Mickey Mouse Castle Illusion. If you haven't got this game, you owe it to yourself to grab it. Very good. Um, I think some people actually prefer that to the Mega Drive version. Um, what was this one? Oh right, yeah, I remember this. I looked at this and I thought, oh, I always thought this was a Man United game. I don't know why. Champions of Europe. I think this was all red, but it's not. It's just based based on the UEFA Cup, uh, nineteen ninety two. Very similar to Kick Off, but not as good. Kick off two on the Amiga all day long. Right, another Holy Grail uh, for collectors. Again, this can push 200 quid. All day long. This was via eBay. What did I pay? It wasn't a lot at all. I think it was about 30 odd quid. 35 quid. I don't think I've paid any much more than that. Uh, but it's Championship Hockey by US Gold. It's one of the, the unusual ones in that it's, it's, it's a black sleeve. Actually not a bad uh, ice hockey game as well. Again, I think this was towards the end of its life. No one bought it. 1994. So, really late. That's why. Not a very good conversion. Awesome arcade game. Absolutely superb. I don't know what the fuck was going on with the cover with this, honestly. It's, and it calls it, I don't know why they call it Sega Tato Chase HQ. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't call it, I don't know. There must have been something that they insisted on it having on there, but that's, it's a, it's a, it's a quirky cover, but it's just like, I don't know, it's not Japanese, it's not... It looks like a French guy's drew it. I don't know, I think it's shite. Fucking nuts. Right, another toffee to get. Not really expensive, relatively speaking. It just doesn't come up very often. You don't, well, I didn't see it very often. Uh, I bagged this again. It's probably about 30, 35 quid. Something like that, top end. Um, it was a guy... It wasn't even listed on eBay. He messaged me. I, think I asked him about something out and he said he had this. Oh, I might get confused. I think it's this one. I'm sure it was this one. But I basically bought this sort of direct, if you like. And it's a uh, Speed Gonzalez Cheese Catastrophe. I believe it's a Mega Driver. There's a Mega Driver list. I'll be honest with you, I played it. It looks a little bit garish. But that might just be because obviously it's had to be in the, in the desert. Uh, yeah, 1995, you see, all the relate releases, because no one bought them. Right, cracking game this is. As kids, it took us ages to understand what the fuck we're supposed to do. We just shot everything, even the prisoners and its choplifter. Again, Craig helped me to uh, complete this. So this is an idea. This was released in 1980, 1982. 
I'm sure this is one of the sort of launch titles. I'm, if it wasn't the launch title, it was one of the first batch of um, new games. Because remember, sort of John having this. Um, but yeah, once you got the hang of, the hang of this game, it's really quite good. Uh, Amiga port, yeah, that's Chuck Rock. Everyone knows Chuck Rock. 1992, that game. So you've got a wide spectrum, quite a lot, quite, you know, back in the 80s and, and 90s, sort of the longevity of a console, it, it worked great. Uh, yeah, Chuck Rock 2, time to look and see when this one was released. 1993. Yeah, so a year after. Um, this one was another one that I looked at. Used to watch, used to, watch, used to sort of see in the magazines and that. I think, oh, that, that, that looks quite good. Or it's from a screenshot. You know, you had the impression that it was you, you made a whole game out of one screenshot. Um, works out since I got it. This was a car boot find as well, actually. Um, it's, it's a shoot 'em up, and it's uh, Cloudmaster. I remember looking at the, the, the sort of some of the artwork, thinking, "Oh, it's karate, you know, kung fu karate." That's what we were back. That's what we were into back then. All ninjas and stuff. Um, your Tetris, it's columns. It's columns. We know columns. Uh, cool spot. There was no cool spot two for the mass system. That's 1993 release from Virgin. Right, this is a bit. These were guys a bit controversial uh, back in the day. They did a few naughty things. Well, well, they didn't. They didn't do naughty things. They just booked the trend. They just did what they what they wanted to do, and fucking more power to them. They released a couple of games on the Master System, all very unique, and they did it with the Mega Drive as well. All very unique. Um, but what it just means, it means it's a sort of complete bastard to fuck if you, if your case is a crack, damaged or whatever, because it, it, they're really hard to find. It, well, they're quite tricky games to get anyway, but to get one that's, you know, a replacement case, it's, it's even more of a headache. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm missing the manual on this one. It's Cosmic Space Head. It's by Codemasters. So again, like I say, they were controversial with the Game Genie. They did the the, the uh, built-in uh, multi-tap on the carts of the Mega Drive. They released games without authorization. Uh, <laughs> quite, you know, fair play. Uh, weird game. It's bit. It's very much like. Um, Dizzy, which is not, which is no surprise. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it is. One that I was looking forward to. It's a big disappointment. It's a Cyber Shinobi. It's not really Shinobi that much, to be honest. It's a shame. Where did I get that one from? Can't remember. Um, this one. Can't remember who had this. I think Darren had this. My mate Darren. It's an awful game. It's not very good. He persevered with it, to be fair to him. It's Cyborg Hunter. Again, an early release, I'm sure. Uh, oh, no, 1988. Another tricky one to find. Not not massively expensive, admittedly. Just tricky to find. You know, I think this is a um, Mega Drive release as well. Uh, Daffy Duck in Hollywood. This is, yeah, 1993. Right. Near the end of this row now. Right, this one is the sort of... If you, if you had a rating of rarity, say 1 to 10, this is going to be above average rarity. It's kind of like an RPG, action RPG kind of game it's hard to explain now it's a bit like bit elements of wonder boy monster world a bit like zelda 2 that's probably the best way to describe it and it's danan 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 the jungle fighter um yeah 1990 so it's side scrolling but with rpg elements very reminiscent of, of, of zelda pretty good artwork though I think that was that was off eBay. That was yeah. I think I had to do a bit of dealing on that as well with someone because they had it in a bundle and they wouldn't let it go. Yeah, I can do my head in. Uh, Dead Angle. 
very good game. It's um, kind of like Dynamite Duke. So, if you can see that, you have like the outline of who you are, or um, the Super Spy, and the Neo Geo. This one was regarded as a really hard game to get. Where did I get this from? Oh, I had two copies of this. I got this one from someone else, and then one I got from a charity shop. Um, but I think it's come down in price a little bit. I don't know why. Uh, maybe everyone jumps on the band. I've got, I've got that, and it just drops it. The, the price in, in, you know, inevitably lowers. But it's Deep Duck Trouble. Uh, yeah, nineteen ninety three. Again, you see. So a lot of these rarer, harder to find titles are all all in and around the end, end life cycle of the, of the machine. Not a hard one to get at all. See us all the time. But weirdly enough, 1993. So. Maybe just more people bought it, I don't know. Uh, Desert Speed Trap, Wiley Coyote. Desert Strike, not a patch of its big brother on the uh, Mega Drive, unfortunately. Now, people like this game, and they like the um, the Mega Drive version of it as well. And it's Dick Tracy. A pretty good movie, actually. Um, Donna and... Um, what's his name? Don't come to me. One of my favourite franchises. It's it's not a bad port on the old mass system. It's not the best either. Um, some people actually prefer this to the, to the Mega Drive. It's Double Dragon. Gives a B. That guy's that actor's name gives a B. Not Walter. Um, Arnie and Stallone reunited for a video game very much like uh, I, I, I would call the game I'm talking about Cable but I think people call it Cabal Warren Beatty that's his name uh, it's Double Hawk now this reminds me of Cable or as some people call it Cabal um, there you go see my brain does work at times which is, takes a while but yeah, so that's that, that row done, guys. We'll change this and uh, get to row. And we're starting off with quite possibly uh, one of the sort of again, if you've got like your games like your buggy runs and stuff like that, which are, if, 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 if it's a, a rating out of 10, there would be 10. This game would be a nine easily, maybe nine and a half. Um, it fetches a steady amount of money, uh, easily 50 plus. Again, when I was looking at it, this was another quality car boot find. Um, I got this, I think I got about four games, four or five games for something like 25 quid. Fucking unbelievable. But uh, it is Dr. Robot Nick's Mean Bean Machine. Uh, his older brother on the Mega Drive is not that difficult. To, well, it's not that rare, it's not that expensive. Uh, but again, 1993 for the mass system. That is all box and complete. Very tricky game to get. Uh, another good one, role playing game, which um, is on the Game Gear. I've got that, it's Dragon Crystal. We've got Bruce Lee, the Dragon. That's even later, 1994. I think a lot of the. That, that one is. is um, how long it took? It took me ages to get older, but when I got old, I mean, the, the when I did finally get it, this copy is in mint condition. I must admit, it is absolutely spanking. The, the game I was referring to earlier, uh, Dynamite Duke. Not as good as the uh, the Mega Drive or the arcade version, because this one, you, you can see the sprite. So not even as good as Dead Angle, if you think about it, because they couldn't even manage to outline the sprite. I like this game in the arcades. I don't think many people like it. I can't remember, we, I must have played this on the Amiga, I think, after the arcades. Uh, Dynamite Dukes. Or ducks. Very weird game. In the arcades, it, it looks really impressive. It looks really good fun. It, well, it is really good fun. Um, another good arcade game. Didn't really do. Not very good on the mass system. Pretty good on the Mega Drive. Uh, e Swap. 
And again, it's weird because on the Mega Drive it's called eSwap Cyber Police, and this is just called eSwap. Um, yeah. Not a franchise I like, I, I must admit. Echo the Dolphin. Never got it. Uh, again, another earlier release. Uh, I think Darren had this one, mate. Darren had this one. Enduro Racer. I uh, set this one off to uh, Tony, Anthony, Soft Attack, who, it, it, like I say, it was a duplicate that I had. Uh, this was an arcade game, because I remember the bike. Anyone remembers the bike? Craig, you remember the bike, the Enduro Racer. That's what you need to get. That's an arcade game you need to get. Anyone remember the bike, what you had to do with the bike? Comments down below in the arcade version of Enduro Racer. Fucking awesome. Best Forgotten, F-16 Fighter. Fucking hate the flight sims on the Amiga and Spectrum and everything else. What was that one we had on the, uh, on the, on the Spectrum? Infiltrator. What the fuck is going on with that? When you're a kid, it's like, what I sort of shoot stuff? Um, again, a um, duplicate release on the Mega Drive, F1. Apparently quite a good driving game, not really got into it, I must admit. Played these to death on the Spectrum. Uh, refer to these, these chaps already. This one I'm sure is complete. It's fantastic, Dizzy. I mean, you, you can't go wrong with a Dizzy game, and to be honest, they've done. Because remember, the, they, when they released these in Amiga, compared to the Spectrum, it really. They just popped a little bit. It was a bit that they were like, you know, a little bit like Nintendo, not like bright pastel colours. Really good. This game, fucking love this game. Loved it in the arcade as well. And it is Fantasy Zone. Some really nice music in this. Again, early release. Again, my mate Darren had this. Um, a very weird, unique shooter. And the second one, Fantasy Zone 2. I don't think he had this one. And the trickier of the trilogy to get. Again, I can't remember where I got this. It wasn't a car boot find. It must have been a wheel deal via eBay. A lot of the, a lot of the games that I got off eBay, I didn't do a bite now. It, I literally hassled people. Well, not hassled. I messaged people and said, look, yeah, they've got like a mass system with 10 games. And I only wanted, like, say, this one. And, and I just had to sort of fucking hassle and harangue them. eBay have made it a lot more tricky for you to do that now. Uh, from what I understand, in terms of you can't send like email addresses and all that kind of shit because they just don't want you doing it, and it's it, it's fucking wrong. But they're just greedy bastards. But yeah, uh, sorry, Fantasy Zone, Final Fa uh, Fantasy Zone, the maze, Pac-Man, another tricky one to try and source. Um, I'm sure mine's complete. I think it is. I don't remember playing this on the Amiga. I think I played the first one. It's fine, and forget two. Again, another quite tricky one to get hold of. This is this is complete. It's a, it is a quite a quick game actually. Even on I know it goes by the name, but it, the flash, the, the sprite does move. He shifts up. Not sure why they're 1993. I don't know if there's something going on in 1993. There must have been another console released because some of the other ones were 1994, and they're a lot, a lot less tricky to get hold of. Where it seems 1993 is, is the games that were released in that year, that that year hard to source. Uh, an absolutely shite game, uh, The Simpsons. Simpsons, The Flintstones. Fucking Simpsons. Um, I love this game in the arcades. Mega Drive version is quite good. Mass System one, uh, they had to make some uh, adjustments here, and it's Forgotten Worlds. And what I, I didn't, I don't know if anyone else noticed it. I just noticed it and I thought, oh, that's interesting. It is only one player, and to be fair, they only show you one character because obviously, you know, Forgotten Worlds is a two-player game. So it would have been really shit if they had both characters on them, but you can only ever be one of them. Uh, a bit like Final Fight. <laughs> Uh, another awful game, I don't like it, G-Lock, I don't like it in anything, except the arcades. Um, 
this was an interesting game. I remember seeing this on the, I'm sure it was a Mega Drive, thinking, oh, that looks like a role-playing game. It's not, it was one of the few, um, earlier sort of RTS type games, and it's Game Ground. Not especially tricky. Uh, I remember I, had to, I bought um, a new insert for that. One was actually mashed. Another excellent arcade game, not very good on the home system, it's Galaxy Force. Where have we got to? Uh, this is a pretty good game. It's uh, Gangster Town. Light gun. Oh, I didn't know actually you can actually have two players, but that's quite a good game. What can you say about this series? Again, in the arcades, outstanding. Always worth it, always worth a 10p. And it's gauntlet. To be honest, it's not bad. It's not bad on the Master System. 1990 release. Ghost House, another interesting platformer, early release uh, on the Master System, 1986. For the show, you look, if you look at the back, the back cover on that, look, you've got two screenshots, and that's it, and the whole of that bottom isn't used at all. And if you look at a four year later one, like Gauntlet, you look how much, just look at the difference. Quite interesting how they sort of realised, you know, I don't know, just I thought we need to put more on that. Um, franchise that sells well, I, I, I dare say, on, on any system. Um, the Mass System one's not too bad, it, it, it's not a bad game, it's nowhere, it's completely different on the Mega Drive. The Mega Drive version of this game is fucking wicked, I've got it. It's Ghostbusters. So this one, I believe, it, it, oh god, it, I think it's like the spe it's based on the mechanics of the Spectrum version. That's why how I played it with the map and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, Ghostbusters will always, you know, it's one that's got. I think that that franchise is going to be a lot bigger going forward in terms of nostalgia and pull for people. Uh, a game I was really happy to get. This was I got this via someone on eBay, not off of eBay. Uh, essentially, he was he had a couple of games that he was selling, I can't remember what it was now. And he had to say, oh, I've also got this one. And I was like, yeah, I'll have that. And it, it's in fantastic condition. Artwork is absolutely shit. Uh, it's Schools and Ghosts. I mean, that is fucking awful artwork. It's not a bad port on the mass system. It's not great. It's not bad. Um, interesting game. I thought this was going to be a boring bit. Fucking strategy type thing it's not it's actually shooting up and it's global defense again early ish yeah 1988 release um one of the few sort of licensed time games that's actually half decent it's global gladiators pretty good port uh good on the mega drive i'm saying that a lot aren't i kind of comparing it to mega drive but for some people that probably don't collect or don't really know about the Master System, I suppose Mega Drive might be what you know, if that makes sense. I can see I'm losing the light here a bit. I might have to do this in two parts. Now, I think this is a cracking conversion on the Master System. Big sprites, relatively smooth, does, does enough of an amazing arcade game. You know, I don't care what you say, when I remember, when we've seen this in the arcades as kids, it's fucking immense, it's Golden Axe. It's not a hard game to get on the Master System at all. Um, but yeah, fantastic. I do miss the arcades. This was, this was another car booter. Car boot for a pound. I, I can't remember if I've got a manual for this now. Ah, oh, shit, I think, I think Carl. Woodland 37 sent me the manual to this. I'm sure he did. Uh, but it's Golden Axe Warrior. A quite tricky to get hold of uh, role playing game for the Master System. Right. Uh, golf. Golf's Golf. This is Golf Mania. The manic. The manic about golf and Golf Mania. And to finish off, another tricky to, to, to hunt down, um, complete. 
uh, role playing game. One again, there's one screenshot I can show you here that I used to see in a lot of the magazines, especially um, oh, what's it called? SMS, SMS Power, the the, the sort of equivalent um, Sega one of Club Nintendo. Can't remember what it's called now. I want to get them again. That's another set of magazines I want to find. I'm sure it's called SMS Power. It's in like a diamond and it had an S in it. Oh, you see? Now I'm going to go on eBay and try and find them. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, Gavellius, Valley of Doom. And the screenshot I'm talking about is that one there with the worm. It's a giant worm. But I remember that magazine. It had like, used to have guides in it. And one of the guys was for Fantasy Star. Very good. Right. Um, next lot. <sighs> we'll go straight through on this one. GP Rider. Pretty good bike game. About it, really. Great baseball. It's baseball. Obviously, this is the great series. Great basketball, not a bad basketball game. I don't really understand the, the, the rules of baseball. Great football. I can't remember which football game it is. It might be this one. One of them is, is a little bit harder to get in terms of like American football. Great golf. Just golf. Another Holy Grail. There's a quite I say Holy Grail. I shouldn't call them Holy Grails, but they're, they're fucking hard to find games. They're hard to really are hard to get. Again, this is an eBay one because it come from I don't know if this was even released in the UK. I think it was, but it was like rocking all shit. They tended to pick this up a lot more in on the on the continent. I think this come from Germany, I think it did anyway. It hasn't got the manual in it. And what you need to understand is not get confused with the other game, I can't find it now. But anyway, it's a card, it's a Sega card game, it's called Great Soccer. Now, if, you, if, you, if you're gonna look to get the mass system, you need to understand there is a difference. And I can't remember what the one it is, this is a football one. It's not great, it's called some outs, but people get them confused. But essentially, this is a different game, it's a completely different game. To the uh, normal say uh, the Nate's normal sake football one. It'll come to me. Uh, great volleyball. Not bad. Another cracking arcade game. It's all right, poor. It's hang on. I haven't really played this one, to be honest. It looks a little bit like trying to be like Rocky, but not quite as good as heavyweight champ. I think I'm missing the manual on that. I can't remember now. Um, not one I've played. Well, let's tell her I put it on. I couldn't really get into it. Um, I remember these coming out on the early Amiga. There's a lot of these that were released by SSI, and it's uh, here as a Lance. AD and D. Impossible Mission. We know about Impossible Mission elevators. Running around and unlock stuff. Um, I can't remember who it was who was into this game. Shit. Someone really like. I might be. It might be Retro Dave Nintendo. I can't remember now. And I'm not sure if it's on the Masses. It might be on the Mega Drive. I can't remember. Or it might be on the NES. But this franchise is uh, the Crash Test Dummies. Or the Crash Dummies. We, I'm sure they were called the Crash Test Dummies, weren't they? This can be quite difficult. Or tricky one to, to hunt down, pick up, find. As can this. So the other thing as well, my collection is no variants. A lot of um, you know, in terms of all the systems, any yeah, we, we all know this. You have like your platinums and greatest hits and all that kind of stuff. The mass system was no different. It had uh, brown bag versions of games. Um, like the classics or whatever, they're just called brown bags. Uh, this is one of them. This is just the sort of original. I don't know. You call it original. Uh, it's the Hulk, Incredible Hulk. Again, 
pretty tricky game to get hold of. Uh, I'm not an, a, a complete master system nut by any, by any stretch of imagination. Um, like I said, I had two mates that had it. That's where the, the nostalgia come, comes from. The actual collecting side of it, uh, I think, I'm sure it was, ow, you two, we, 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 were, we were chatting, I can't remember why, one comment or the other, and I just fell into it. I literally just did it, it was just a case of, I was just finding them for relatively cheap, either at the car boot or online or buying them job lots, etc. And before you know it, you're like, because there's only 207, no, there's 279, I think there's 279 uh, titles released. Um, so it's not an arduous, it's not a, a massive fucking, you know, load of games to get. But there's a fair few, and, and some of them can be quite pricey and quite tricky to get. So some people, um, King Arthur, he's, he's gone the whole hog, he's got variants and well, all the card games and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just, I'll just like I say, it, it, it's nice to have. It was something I was determined to finish. Because again, a few people sort of said, you know, a lot of people start these things and they just dwindle off. You never see them again. And they're quite right. But anyway, uh, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. Don't like the action game. I am more of the adventure game. I love the adventure game with Mega. I've got it boxed. I've got it all complete. Everything. I fucking love that game. Uh, James Bond, The Jewel. Uh... I'm pretty sure someone said that a lot of the sound effects were ripped off of this game or they were copied on another game, I can't remember. James Pond, 2 Robocod, loved it on the Amiga, it's alright on the Master System, it's not great. Joe Montana, fucking see this game everywhere on the, on the Mega Drive. Uh, Jungle Book, pretty good platformer, it's Disney. Uh, Jurassic Park. Again, I think there's another franchise that's going to really hold its um, IP, if that makes sense, and become really sort of sought after. Car boot one. This one I, I was looking for for ages. It was an early release. Again, the front, the sort of, not this cover, uh, I can't remember, there was another screenshot, I can't see it on here. It was in the magazines again, and it was like, oh yeah, that looks awesome, you, you, again, you imagine the whole game. But it's Ken Sidon. Now the interesting story about this one, when I picked this up from the car boot, and I fucked up here a little bit, in that the guy had a box box full of, uh, he had a Master System one, a load of other games, I, I, did, I already had them, I already had them. Uh, it was this and another one that I needed, I can't remember, but it's in here somewhere. Uh, and he only wanted a tenner for the lot, and I just wanted these two games. And then one of the lizards behind me bought the lot. But then again, I wonder, I sort of think it back at the time. I think I didn't have a great wadge of cash on me anyway, so. Fair. One of them, innit? Uh, Clax. Another arcade. Poor, um, George Foreman's KO Boxing. Another Rocky Clone. Definitely, I think I'm missing the manual on that one, I'm sure. This is an Alm U2 one. Uh, Chris's Super Fun House. Or oh, Chris's Fun House. I remember I played this on the um, on the SNES. Good game actually. Good little puzzle game. Really, really fun little game. Right, this is another one from the early release um, catalogue that were in the magazines. Looked great. See, a lot of these all have the same theme to them. They're all about martial arts, and this is Kung Fu Kid. A bloody hard little game to find actually, especially complete. Um, side scroller. Affair, but yeah, some of the screenshots you used to see that as a kid. Oh, that looks great! Uh, very good game again. Castle uh, Land of Illusion, a bit like um, Castle variant of the uh, from the Mega Drive. Can't go wrong with them games, guys. Um, this one I picked this up very early on when I was collecting mass. I think the price of this has gone up a little bit. I'm pretty sure of it because I remember last time I sort of glanced through and seen it. I thought, like, "Ooh, get out really!" Uh, another light gun game. No, actually, it's not a light gun game. It looks like it's a light gun game, but it's not. But you can use the light gun game, and it is Laser Ghost. Like, see why? Why couldn't they? Why couldn't they just stick to this style 
of artwork, like the PC Engine type illustrations, look so much better. Uh, lemmings, we all know lemmings. Right, this game has a hidden. It's not hidden actually, it's just hidden in the fucking manual, whereby you can use this uh, with 3D glasses. It's a line of fire. I'm sure you can use it. I'm sure this is the one. Shoot them up, but you can use 3D glasses. Uh, Lion King, again, it's a Disney game, it's a platformer, I've said. Another bit tricky to get role playing game, role playing adventure, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Um, another one, back in the day when you used to see the, the sort of. Uh, screenshots Lord of the Sword now the screenshot I always remember is the top one there that one used to get touted about so much that looked I was like oh that looks awesome <laughs> um, I think everyone's got this if he's got a massive system lucky dime caper Donald Duck not a bad platformer love this in the arcades still a good game today Marble Madness infuriation reigns um, one of the sort of trickier Tricky wants to pick up, but really good fun actually. I mean, all, I remember playing these with uh, Darren. Darren had the light gun. Really good fun, and it is the marksman shooting. Marksman, I, I call this marksman trap shooting safari hunt, but really it's actually marksman shooting trap shooting safari hunt. Um, basically, the answer to, to duck hunt, but really good. Oops, that's actually. Um, you forgot that one. H's Home Alone. Obviously, the last one of the last two uh, games I need to get. Absolutely shit game. Again, pretty tricky to find. Uh, admittedly, very tricky game to hunt down. 1993. Right. 1993. I'm gonna be fucking pissed by the end of this. I tell you. Switched it again. Bit, bit something a bit different. Hmm. Another fucking. This is it. On a rarity scale, number 10. Easily. But this again, it's not complete. It's not in the best condition. It's got a slight, two little nicks out of it. Uh, again, what I paid, I ain't gonna argue. You've seen this one quite recently. It's Masters of Combat. I got a few dinks taken out of it there. Um, basically, answer to Street Fighter. 1993, again, I'm, sure, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do some research to see what, what, what I, what was going on in 1993? Um, yeah, fucking tricky game. Jay, if you're looking to get that on Cyber Snake, man, you're gonna be paying big bucks for that bad boy. Big bucks. There's a few different ones of that. Um, well, there's a few different variants of, of a lot of the Mass System games. The main ones being from Brazil, they're called Tech Toys. Um, Again, it, it depends, you know, if, if that's if that's your bag. And there's even games that were never released over here that released. I think the, uh, the mass system was still going strong in Brazil in like fucking 1999 or even like the 2000s or something. They were still making games for it. Um, but it's depend. you know, how deep do you want to go in the rabbit hole, basically? Uh, Master Games 1, the, one of the, the only um, sort of mega games compilation ever released. Uh, this has probably been this is known about for ages. Castle, uh, Sega's castle, uh, that, blah, 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 blah. Sega's answer to Castlevania Masters of Darkness. Good game, good game. That was a bit of special, I'm sure. One of the uh, 3D glass games. You know what? I'm gonna start this again. One of the 3D glasses games. Mason to 3D. Actually quite a good game. The effect is quite good on this one. Um, yeah, that's that weird. Why did they call it the Sega Scope 3D? Because it implies you would have a, a good or a scope. Good. Mercs, good arcade game. Good on the Mega Drive, not so great on the Master System. Awesome game. Another code masters is uh, micro machines. Another tricky to find and locate uh, role playing game. 
Miracle Warriors, Seal of the Dark Lord. Um, I can't remember, there's one of these that has a map. Some of the extra bits. And it, it gets ridiculously expensive. Really, really does. I'm thinking it's that one, but I could be wrong. Was that Ultima? I think Ultima as well. Um, more 3D glasses is Missile Defense 3D. Quite a good game, actually. With the glasses as well, uh, I, I need to buy myself a pair. You can get, because they have a, an in, inherent fault in terms of the one the, the, the arms shatter or split because they're designed for kids, not fathead adults like us. But what you can do if you can get, uh, what's it called, alternating um, normal 3D glasses. Oh, shit, who does them? For their 3D TVs. But basically it's the same, it's a 3.5mm three, three jack and you plug that into the front of your uh, adapter and they work fine. They're about 25 quid I think off eBay. I still need to get myself a pair. Uh, Monopoly. I think that was a Minx job that was. Minx 36. Uh, another game that holds its value well across multiple platforms is Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Mortal Kombat. Nah. Now this one is a lot, again, mine isn't perfect. This is a cut, this is one of the, the, the five from the car boot. Obviously, Craig's happened to complete this. I'll always be on the lookout for, for upgrades. This is this is going to be one of them. Mortal Kombat 2, as you can see, a little bit. Basically, someone's tried to rip a fucking label off it and mullered it. Um, tricky game to get as well. Tricky game to get on the Master System. Miss Pac Man, he, she was a car boot special. I put a job block for the car boot with that one. Um, again, this is a game that will make Darren add. Um, I can't remember if he ever completed it, I don't know. But it was, it, it was another launch title. It's My Hero. I think I'm missing a manual for that. But it, it's probably cheaper just to buy the fucking whole game again. Love this on the Amiga. The New Zealand story. It's ported well, that has, across multiple systems. But NES as well. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I always known, knew this as Shadow Warriors from the arcades. Very good game, actually. Good port on the mass system. This one's two a penny. Olympic gold, so I'm not going to say much about, that's about that. This one as well, but again, it was one of the games that I remember Darren playing. Uh, John had this as well. I think most people had this, because like I say, back in back then, these were the, this, this was, you know, this is the... Um, the genre, this is what everyone was watching, this is what everyone wanted to play, this is what everyone wanted to be, is the ninja. Up Wolf, awesome arcade game, not great in the mass system. Operation Wolf. Right, this one, which is completely in the wrong way around. I'll leave it, I'll just show you. I'll just swap this one. This was one of the. Uh, it just eluded me a little bit, actually. Um, I think it was big in uh, Germany and on on the continent again. Didn't really see it much over here. I got this from Play two years back. Uh, it is. I'm gonna have to show it this way. It's it's the Ottifants. There you go. So I bought that from Play. Look, console passions. A bit of a platform. I need to swap the uh, thing on that. Not the best port. Again, my mate Darren had this because he was convinced it was great. Uh, it's Outrun. This one is quite tricky to find. Uh, Going to set you back a few bob. Again, it's one of them sort of above um, average in rarity. Outrun 3D. Uh, not a great version. Outrun Europa. Mm, don't that. Pac Mania. Again, not not quite the best, but it's Pac-Man, I like Pac-Man. This one, to be honest, I remember Paperboy in the arcades. I didn't really play much of it on the home systems. I know there's a few people out there that that big Paperboy uh, fans. Um, I'm pretty sure the NES one is one of the better versions, but I could be wrong about that. But uh, it looks alright in the mass system, but it ain't really my bag anyway. And... Again, neither is this really. Parlor Games. 
I'm going to play the darts and maybe the pool, that's it. Penguin Land, I, didn't, I haven't put much into this. A quite obscure game, actually, if you're trying to hunt that one down. Golf, it's golf. What, what can you say about golf? Right, this is um, this is one of the, what, the games that I sought, I actively sought out. At one point I had two copies of this. Um, but this game defined, this this really ignited uh, the sort of role playing uh, fever, if you want, in me. Uh, John had this first. Yeah, uh, it didn't really, uh, we, we were a bit young then, we didn't really understand what was going on. We, we sort of knew a little bit, but we couldn't really get into it. Then as we got a bit older, I think Darren picked this up, along with like the Sega magazine, with a little bit of help. It just opened the whole thing up, and I just, we got we got sucked in completely. And it is a fantasy star. You know, obviously there's the uh, yeah, the, the follow ones on the Meg Drive which I've got, but this one just holds a really special place. It's absolutely the story is brilliant. It really is good. Um, and as kids, younger kids, it, it was just first time I ever experienced anything like that. Cracking game. I think Fantasy Star 2 was a little bit hit and miss. 3 was better than number 4 went back to kind of how that game was. Um, so we go from, from the greatest to the literally the shittest shit fighter. Um, enjoy this on the Amiga. I could never get with it on the consoles, any of the consoles. It's populous, which is a shame. Uh, this is a good game. Takes a bit of getting used to. Again, another 3D one. It's Poseidon. Poseidon Wars 3D. Right, two two games. Now, the first one, I when I was collecting, it, it weren't you, you could pick this up, and it weren't overly expensive at all. Uh, since finding the second one, uh, and obviously having to do the search, sort of see, you know, the first one, and it's rocketed up in price. I don't understand why. I don't get it at all. And it is a Power Strike, good shooter. Not bad, but I don't know what's happened to the price. It's really gone through the roof. And obviously, the, it's bigger brother. Again, mine's not in the best condition. This is another one that you can probably buy it now, but you'll probably be paying a fair old couple of quid for it. Mine, yeah, it needs, needs work. <laughs> but it's there. Nonetheless, it's Power Strike 2. It's a little bit of a nick there. You see. One shaft down. Right, next row. Um, I'm probably going to lose the light here. Yeah? I might just about manage to do it. We'll see. That I'll be absolutely fucking pisses of fire. Right, next up, weirdly enough, another film license is a uh, Predator 2. Love this on the mass and the Mega Drive. Cracking game. Mass System one's not too bad. It's it's not the best, but it's not too bad. That's another car boot special. Uh, again, Amiga, brilliant. Ported across multiple systems, uh, Prince of Persia. Oh, this one. Ninja Bear Hook did, um, I think, a complete gameplay. It's an SMS Quest. That's died a death, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but, uh, God, I remember this game, right? So, this, this game, um, me and John were big wrestling fans. Huge wrestling fans, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. Loved it. Since then, it's all shit. It's all gone to shit. I don't care what anyone says. But I remember, and I don't know if John will remember this if he's ever watching it, but I remind him. Uh, he got this for Easter. Uh, he had, a, he had a, an argument, a falling out with his dad. Um, I can't remember what it was about now. It was about something really silly. And his poor dad felt so guilty. He really did. And he went out, wherever he went out, and he got this. He bought this game for John. Uh, and we played, we played it to death. And it was, it, was, it was the best thing ever. It really was. And it's pro wrestling. Again, shit fucking thing. I'm sure I got this from the car boot as well, you know. But, oh, God, we had so much fun with this game, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Poor Terry had to go out and fucking buy his son that game because he upset him. Fucking my old man was just dumped to fuck off. Punch me in the face. 
This is a book special. Didn't know anything about it till he, he uh, sort of said, "Oh, found this one, and I don't know you need it." It's Psychic World. Uh, a bit of a runner gun platformer kind of thing. Quite unique. This is probably the best, probably the best platform game on on the mass system. Um, when McDarren had this, he was really good at it. Actually, it takes a lot to get used to, but it is absolutely brilliant game. And again, the cover art's fucking outstanding. It's Psycho Fox. Why? I don't get it. There must be something going on with it, this cover art between. I mean, just check that out. Look, I mean that is. Just to me, it screams PC Engine. I don't know what happened. Should have stuck to that same formula. Uh, Putter and Putter, which is not a bad crazy golf game, actually. Uh, this one I remember in the arcades. This was a four-player game. Um, I'm pretty sure it had a couple of screens above it, if memory serves me correctly. A weird game. I didn't really understand what I was doing in the arcades. Come out of the mass system. I don't think any of my mates ever had it, uh, but obviously remembered it from the arcades. It's Quartet. Again, a pretty tricky game to, to, to hunt down, uh, and thanks to Craig for completing that with the manual. Yeah, one of the, one of the weirder, more obscure titles for sure. Um, not a bad port, not a patch on some of the other ones that are out there, it's our type. We all know our type. What else have we got? Oh yeah, this is, right. Again, the one that Craig's happy to complete. This is an enjoyable game. RC Grand Prix, basically radio control cars, um, a bit like RC Pro-Am on the NES, which again, was a good game, absolutely stonking game, brilliant in the arcades, and it's not a bad port on the uh, Master System, it's Rainbow Islands, Bob and Bob, can't beat Bob and Bob, another arcade classic, it's Rampage, okay, I think I'm missing the manual in this one as well, um, loved it in the arcades, Mass System 1, uh, it's okay. It's not brilliant, let's be honest. When I was going to get this on the, uh, the Mass System, I thought, I remember seeing this on the Mega Drive, and it was great. Not, uh, I think I only picked this up last year as well on the Mega Drive. But when I got this on the Mass System, I thought it was going to be similar. It's a completely different game. It's one of them weird... Um, paradoxes that happens in video games. Sometimes they'll port the same game across and then other times they'll they'll use a license to create a completely different game and that's what they did with Rambo 3. So this is basically a light gun game. It's Operation Wolf style. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it was, you know, it's like mm. an interesting thing in America. One of the games will come to, not yet, but Secret Command is called Rambo 2. Here it's called Secret Command. Must have been a licensing issue. Love this in the arcades because it worked on the trackball. Doesn't really work too well on the home consoles, it's Rampart. It's, that is a really good game in the arcades. Um, <laughs> Craig, I'm sure I said Craig this, Minx 36, I'm sure I did. I had a copy of this. I'm sure it was him. Someone got tortured by this as a kid. It's Rastan. Again, in the arcades, it's it, a good laugh. Mass system one's not great. The, I think the, the collision detection's off the fucking jumpings. It's all over the shop. I'm sure it was Craig. He, he was tortured by that as a kid. Um, this game, I didn't even know, right? So when I was collecting for the mass system, I didn't even know this was out. When I found out, I was like, oh, that is awesome. I'm going to get it. It's going to be like the arcades or, you know, every account. Even as an adult, I was stupid. I was naive. Um, but me, me and John, I think I've told. I think I must have told the story and I picked this game. Up, I'm going to tell it again now. His dad used to drive us to, to a local chippy just to play, just to play this game, not to have any chips, just to play this game. Fucking absolutely loved it. He's, John was a, John's a really good artist, and he used to draw all the characters and everything. Afterwards, we used to start, you know, just literally just talk about this this particular game, which is Renegade. Um, loved it, absolutely loved it. This is not a great port. Um, the better sort of renegade, the best renegade was when we got a little bit, well, when John got a Spectrum uh, and we had Target Renegade. That's a 
quality game. But yeah, I, was so, I didn't even know. I was so surprised about this. 1993. Something's went on in 1993. It's weird. Uh, rescue mission. Not bad. Not bad game. One that's in the black label. One I need a manual for. It's one of them like tricky-ish games. Can sort of go for 15 quid-ish. And on a, on a good day, um, mine, yeah, probably needs upgrading. This road rash. This one's hard to find. It is real. Uh, this this come from from Germany. Uh, I got it for peanuts, basically as well. It's not got the manual though, unfortunately. First time the mass system, and it is Robocop free. I'm just looking. Oh no, it is in English. So, what they did with a lot of them, it was like multilingual. But yeah, this is this. I mean, to be fair, pretty good cover art. Let's be honest. Date-wise, it's covered up. Can't see it. No, it doesn't say. Um, not bad. This is pretty good on the Mega Drive. It's Robocop versus Terminator. On the mass system, it's meh. there's very few games that really, especially I think when when they're they're dual released. What you well, what I tend to do is obviously you look to sort of like the sort of superior system, and that being one of the examples, unfortunately, the ones that are like solely mass system ones only are really good games. The whoever's like Portland has just got lazy. I think that's part of the problem. It was just laziness. Um, another game in point is Rocky. Not that many people like this. Fucking love this game. I remember I went to a party. Uh, I think I mentioned it on Craig's. Craig's era. Again, what we were chatting. And as a kid, he's not, no, it's not John or Dan. He's a kid at school. We went, to his, went to his house. For, uh, no, I'll tell you what it was. It was Dave Lawn Boys Post. He had a he put a video up about Commando, and the chap his name was Barry. He's, he had an older brother. And we went around his house for a party one year. He was playing Commando on the Commodore 64, and we were asking young kids because his brother was like about eight years old or whatever. We were all like, "Oh, it looks awesome!" And then a few years or year or two later, or whatever it was, we went around from he had another house party, and he, his brother had Rocky, and he's one of the like I say, it was literally he must have had. The first mass system that was released, or something like that, and it was absolutely fucking mind blowing. Uh, but yeah, you know, a lot of this stuff, it, it, it's not because the games are great, it's not because the system's great, it's just pure nostalgia driven. And I make no fucking excuses for that, I don't give a shit. You know, you're never gonna play them, fuck off. What does it matter to you, really? I don't give a shit. Uh, I just like having them because I never had them as. Because we never had any money. I never had any money as a kid, so I don't give a shit. Running Battle. Not really played it. I think it's meant to be a bit like um, uh, Russian Attack. Good shooting up here. Sagaya. Very good. Bit like uh, it's just, uh, Darius. Darius, Darius. Uh, very good. Very good game. Another one that I wanted to get older for ages was Scramble Spirits. Um, it's basically 1942 for the mass system. Pretty good game. This is what I was referring to. In the States, this is called uh, Rambo 2 First Blood. Over here, it's called Secret Command. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's alright, it's not bad. Chess. Chess is chess. This is um, can be quite a tricky game to get hold of. I don't know why. It's. Um, Again, one of them sort of above average in terms of rarity or whatever. And it's Sega World Tournament Golf. It's a golf game. Again, it's one of them weird things where you think, well, why, is, why are sports games so rare? Because no fucker bought them, basically. Uh, Sensi Soccer. Just play the Amiga version. Shadow Dancer. Play the Mega Drive version. But this isn't bad. This isn't. To be honest, visually, it's it, it did quite well. It, it you know it looks apart, but 
Well, the cover's not too bad. I think that, that cover's the same as the Mega Drive, I think. Awful, awful game. On here, Shadow of the Beast. Fucking hor bastardised it. I loved that on Amiga. Um, bit of Mahjong, Shanghai. I do a lot of game of Mahjong. A good game, actually, for the mass system. Shinobi. Very good. Enjoyable. Um, this is obviously the equi the, the uh, answer to Duck Hunt, the shooting gallery. And the first of the Simpsons is Bart vs. Spec Mutants, released across multiple systems. Pretty much the same sort of game. Um, I would probably argue that the Mass System one looks slightly better than the NES version. Um, but pff, apples and pears, it's. It ain't, I don't know, I, don't, I personally don't think there's much in it. Right, oh, last shelf. That's right, and the big shelf. Stick with the Simpsons, again. Uh, another one from Germany, which can be a bugger to get hold of. Uh, I think this is complete. Could be wrong. It is Bart versus the world. Uh, I've got this on the NES. It's a completely unfinished game. I'm fucking sure. I think even Ninja Bear Hulk said that as well. But I've played the NES version, it's no fucking better. It's weird. Weird as fuck. But it's one that you need to obviously pick it up if you want to complete the set. Um, slap shot. Ice hockey, uh, again, Sega's answers to um, their hockey game, which I forget. Blades of Steel, hit the ice. Uh, slap, slap shot, not hit the ice. Hit the ice is an arcade game. Right, another fucking. Why it's, it's hard to find, I don't know. Why is it expensive? I don't know, but it is. This is another one of car boot. Gems, if you like, of the Mass System collecting. On the Mega Drive, this is probably about 10 quid if it's that. On the Mass System, it's probably 50. It, it could be even more now, I don't know. It was expected when I was looking at it. Sonic Spinball. 1994. That's released. Uh, we got Sonic. You know, some of these. Sonic games are actually quite good. Sonic 2, I'm not going to go into them too much, but they're, they're not bad. They're not bad games. Uh, Sonic and Chaos. Or Sonic Chaos. Right, this is an arcade game. Um, there was a spate of these. Not long after Operation Wolf. So Operation Wolf spawned a whole genre. I, I, I mean, uh, there was obviously a lot of games before it, but that was... That set the, the the bracket. I remember as a kid, for me anyway. Um, after that, there was Operation Thunderbolt, which is a two-player version of that. Then you had Beast Busters. Then you had like there's a fucking whole barrage, and one of them was this, which is uh, Tato's uh, Space Gun, which on the mass system ain't too bad. Uh, you can only have one player and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I quite like the fact that uh, you know from a from a console perspective, it was like conversions and imports and stuff that you could play that's all gone now you're not going to have it never that's never ever going to happen again ever you're never going to get sort of arcades r ruling the home consoles never shame isn't it and again another example here Space Harrier what an outstanding arcade cab that was the Mass System game's not bad but that, that was the thing back in the day, you know, you were like, oh, Space Harrier, and I think your imagination did 50% of the work. I swear to God it did, because you, you just, you know, if you can afford to have 50p for going the, the fully hydraulic version of this, you were fucking laughing. But, you, you know, same with Afterburner. Afterburner's the same, I remember the big... The first time I ever played the big deluxe cab on Afterburner. Turned into an arcade story, innit? But that's the thing with the Master System, because a lot of it was arcade-based conversions of games. Uh, but I remember the Afterburner one, going to make John, we went to a, a theme park which is quite close around here, it's called Drayton Manor, and they had the big cab, the big sort of cylindrical type cabinet that he's sitting, fully hard, I, I, I said this to Craig, I'm sure it had a seat belt, I'm sure it had a seat belt, and 
you didn't even you didn't care what you were even doing. The fact the fucking thing moved as you were moving it and stuff like that was and it, it shook when you got blown up or everything else. It was amazing. And when you got the you know space area, same sort of thing. When you got home and you had that game, you you just you you I think your your mind was recalling the actions rather than what was really going on. So you, you kind of filled in the gaps a little bit. But it was, a, it was an amazing time. Space Harry 3D. Actually, a lot better version. Really good. Another quality arcade game. Uh, SCI. Ta uh, well, basically Chase HQ2 by Tato. Obviously, this one you could shoot the, the baddies. This is so ram ramming them. Really good. Um, an Amiga Classic Speedball. Third Speedball 2, to be honest. And uh, speaking of Speedball 2, there it is. Still not a patch of the Amiga version. You know, you're never going to beat that. Ice cream. Ice cream. You do not remember that. Right. Another kind of... A bit like... I can't remember what game it was now. Uh, Zelda clone-esque RPG adventure is Spellcaster. Spider-Man, which I think I actually do need a new insert. I've just realised. Not bad, not great, a tricky to hard to get, tricky to hard, tricky and hard to get title, um, again I picked this up, this was an eBay one but it wasn't a direct eBay purchase, again it was someone that was selling stuff um, and they basically said oh I've got these ones as well, I was like yeah I'll, I'll take that and it, it's in spanky condition and it's uh, Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six. Uh, 1992. Spy vs. Spy. It's a of the games around. I just don't give a fuck now. I'm, I'm, I'm fed up. Completed it. Fuck, fuck the game. Bollocks to it. He's just slowly getting more and more pissed. That's the problem. Um, this one was. Uh, it was this. This was odd. This was bundled in with some outs. Uh, I don't think the guy realised what he was selling. So I got it for peanuts, and it's, it's in absolutely spanking condition. It's Star Wars. Again, I didn't even know that they had released this on the Master System at all. Uh, I'm looking for a date on this one. Um, 1990 to 1993. I'm not sure. Classic games. Again, probably better on the Mega Drive. Streets of Rage and the harder to find, more expensive uh, Streets of Rage 2. Uh, I had this loose cart, managed to find this really cheap on eBay, uh, snapped it up straight away. I think I'm still missing the manual mind, but uh, yeah, I think I moved the cart on for what I paid for this, so. Not a very good port, East Strider. Equally, not a very good East Strider 2. Submarine attack, yeah. Some of the summer games ones. Someone listed this incorrectly, I think. They called it summer out, but it's in spanky condition. So again, that was a eBay special kick off. Kick off's kick off. It's not great in my system, but um, again, uh, one that was released off the, the back of the Mega Drive Monaco GP. It's all right. The better version probably is uh, Ayrton and Sanders. Love this in the arcades. Uh, for some reason it was called Ivan Iron Man Stewart, but this one's just called Super Off Road. That could be tricky to get. Honestly, that as, as bizarre as it sounds, that could be quite a hard one to find. Uh, Super Smash TV, no, it's not even great on the on the Mega Drive, and it's. Marginally better on the, on the Super Nintendo, but arcade is where it's at for that game. Just for the dual um, controllers. This one was one of the last sort of batch that I needed to get. Uh, I could have picked it up at any time. It wasn't great condition-wise. Again, like I've done for the last three or so years. Bided my time. I found this copy, and to be honest, it's spanking. Couldn't, can't argue with it. And it is Le Chant, or the Smurfs. 
Obviously, Smurfs 2. Smurfs 2 ain't gonna happen, let's be honest. Fuck that. It's not gonna happen. Right. Um, I think this is a Al Mewtwo one. So Space Invaders. You don't like Space Invaders. Super Tennis. That was a good game. I actually enjoyed that when we. Um, I think John had this. Um, this one, Craig's happened to complete, and this one can be a little bit tricky to get hold of uh, or complete as well. And that's Superman, Man of Steel. There is a few. There's like a cluster of mass system games that all seem to sort of be the same ilk in in that it's just hard to, to sort of it's almost like people know I mean I know everyone sort of says everyone knows what they're selling and some people don't but it just seems to be that certain games on the mass system everyone seems to be clued up on them. This has been one of them as well. That's T2 the arcade game. This can be a bugger to get hold of at the right price. I mean if you want to spend if you've got fucking Deep pockets, none of this is beyond you at all. I mean, you, you, you could probably go, I don't suppose, on eBay now and probably buy the whole set, in, you know, individualise it and, and, and get it. I don't suppose it. That's that's not out of the realms of possibility. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, I think, no, that wasn't, a, that wasn't one from Germany. But I say a few of these I've had to source from the continent because you just don't see them over here. And that's a fact. Right. I'm going to move swiftly on, you're going to have to keep putting up with um, E-Swap for a minute. Taz, Taz is Taz, seen that on the, it's not, it's not as good as the Mega Drive. This one I, I thought this was going to be like the arcade, uh, from Tecmo's arcade one, World Cup 93. It's not unfortunately, which is a bit disappointing. Teddy Boy, early release game, uh, my mate Darren had this, what are we looking at, 1986 here. Uh, yeah, it's it's a weird, it's a weird platform, shooty platform again. Tennis Ace, uh, I haven't really played it to be honest. It's tennis. Uh, this is another one that's tricky to get for some reason as well. It's T2 Judgment Day. It's not easy to find. This one, however, shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Terminator. Another good arcade game, but. Doesn't do it on their consoles. Is their Thunderblade? A lot of them can. A lot of it. That is to do with the cabinets. I'm sure. Um, this one is one of the again. It's an early release title. And I remember seeing this again from a screenshot and thinking, oh, that looks great. And it's Time Soldiers. And the screenshot I always remember, remember from this is that top one there in the magazines. Yeah, Time Soldiers. Tom and Jerry. Early release game, which is um, even at the time we thought, oh, that's got to be Transformers. I'm guessing it was, and it is. It's Transbot, but it never called it Transformers. I mean, it's a complete bastardisation of uh, the Scout Walker from Star Wars and stuff. But I'm sure it was always meant to be Transformers, but. Uh, Mix 36, so this, Triple Suit. Ultima, this is the one, this this is the one that's got the map in it and stuff like that. Uh, so if you don't know it's even in there, it's hard to even realise that you oh, Okay, technically you've got the game, but it's not quite 100% complete. I don't even think mine is. I think there's still something else missing from it. This is another bizarre one, it's another car booter. You wouldn't even think. This was this was rare on the fucking Mega Drive. I bought a box of Mega Drive games, and there were shitloads of these, and there's shitloads of like kickoffs and like Fifas and all that. I bought them for the cases essentially. And then when I realised, I picked this up for the car boot anyway, blah blah blah. And then when I realised how hard it was to find, I was absolutely astounded. It's Ultimate Soccer, and I just don't understand why that is just so hard to get on the mass system. I don't really know it. This is another cracking arcade game. It's not too bad on the mass system. I'm pretty sure the best version is a PC Engine. And it is a Vigilante. And you've got to go and rescue Madonna. You've got to save Madonna. Um, this is a good game. Light Gun is wanted. The lights. I'm losing the light. 
a uh, bit, bit more tennis, Wimbledon. Mm. Wimbledon 2. Winter Olympics. Uh. Uh, Wolfchild evaded me for a, for a good fucking while. Um, there was a copy knocking about, a bit like Home Alone, where the, I think it was that fucking. I can't what his name is now, some triple seven. Was asking silly money for it. And I just bought bided my time and I managed to pick it up at a half decent price. Uh, right, so the next sort of four games are probably the best I don't know IP or series uh, the probably Master System has in its in its library as as an entirety. And they are the uh, the Wonder Boy games. Obviously this again arcade wise is one of the sort of classics that I personally when I hear the music um, especially next to sort of Shinobi and Double Dragon and all that, and all, that all them them games it just I could just stand there for ages and just listen to music I don't watch your track modes but very good it, actually a, a quite a really good game on the Master System as well um, absolutely superb right, so the second one that was released again what you're probably better off doing if you if you are interested in the Wonder Boy franchise is check out Lex Retro Gamer because they they've done a whole old piece on that and there's actually games in there that I didn't realise existed which were only uh, Japanese only stuff. Uh, but in terms of us here in the UK, it was Wonder Boy Monsterland. Uh, very different game, but still really good, really enjoyable. A lot more sort of a uh, RPG, not, I shouldn't say RPG because it might put a lot of people off, but you could tailor, you could buy equipment, you could you know, buy pots and potions and stuff like that, there's a lot of hidden stuff, as opposed to Wonder Boy being a sort of basically uh, a, a sort of side scroller, which forced you to, to well, but it basically push the screen across. Wonder Boy in the once alone was, was a lot slower, but a lot more involved. I, I can never really understand how that worked as an arcade game. I, I played in the arcades. But I just thought I could be here for ages because there's no real you know, arcade games were rich, really much based on put your 10p in and how quickly they could kill you for your 10p. So you put in the 10p in. Uh, and then the third one, uh, Master System wise, is probably probably arguably the best one is uh, the Dragon's Trap. Darren had this, um, I gave my mate Darren, he completed it, fantastic game, really is fantastic, it's, there's so many avenues, there's so much variation to it, hidden stuff, excellent. This game I didn't know existed, uh, it was released, again, 1993, it's on the Mega Drive, so obviously graphically, sound, etc, it's, it's superior. But this is not a bad game, and it, it, it's quite a good game as, as a game, if you like, across even the Mega Drive and the Mass System. And it's Wonder Boy and Monster World. Again, like I say, if you're into the Wonder Boy franchise, check out the, the latest Retro Gamer, because they go, like like I say, the, there was games there that I didn't really, oh, oh, I didn't know that was even released, and a lot of them weren't released over here, but they were in Japan and stuff like that. And obviously, given what we know now, we can import them and hunt them down and stuff, so it's always worth a look. Get towards the end now, guys. So, stuck with it. Well done. More golf with leaderboard. Uh, well, world class leaderboard. Uh, Sega World Cup Italia 90. Not a great football game. World Cup USA 94. Again, can be a little bit, little bit tricky to get hold of. Won't lie. Uh, another. One of the games, it's just World Games as opposed to Summer Games. Everyone's got this, World Grand Prix. Uh, yeah. So this is what I was talking about when I was referring to Great Soccer. There's a card version of this that everyone gets confused with and when they sort of look at the collection, they think, oh, I've got that because I've got it in the card version. It's not. There's a few, again, it's probably about eight games, I think, that were released on, on the cards. This being one of them, it's World Soccer. So if you see World Soccer on the card, it's not Great Soccer. Great Soccer is, is, is an entirely different game. Uh, last couple of games. We've got a WF Steel Cage Challenge. 
Not a game I played actually, I think Ninja Bear who did a uh, gameplay of this. I don't think it's that great. Again, not great in a mass system, great in Amiga, it's uh, Xenon 2 Mega Blast. One of the. Uh, this was a, when I used to read the old, like, Super Play, the older magazines, and I seen this franchise, I was like, oh, that looks awesome, I'd love to get involved in that off the back of Fantasy Star and stuff like that. Um, to be honest, I haven't put any time really into the, the uh, into this version. It, it, it's now I would say this is wise, but people call it years or years or something. But it's wise of vanished omens. Uh, again, another role playing game. <laughs> it, it spans multiple systems. Uh, a cracking 3D game, probably probably the best one of the 3D. Zach's on 3D. Now these two, what, the second one of these is, is harder to find in the first, it's Zillion. Uh, a bit like Elevator Action, sort of platformy, run and gun, and uh, Zillion 2. Then Zillion 2 is hard to find, and this one has evaded me for a while as well. Uh, that's Zool. Zool's not an easy game to get on the fucking Master System, I'm telling you that much. So, that is all the games. That's it done. That's... 269 or whatever it is, 79. Um, so, in terms of my collection, that's, like I say, that is the games. Uh, the sort of other odds and sods that I've got to hand. Uh, in terms of the card ones, I've got just a loose copy of Hang On. Just in a bit of ball wrap. I think that again, that might be a butter special, uh, and I'm sure either both or one of these is a butter special. So Super Tennis and Bank Panic. Like I say, I'm not actively collecting for these. I mean, if anyone's got any card games that they don't want, then fucking I'll get get in touch. But it's not something I'm, you know, I'm, ooh, I'm saving up for. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. If I see them and I need them, I'll get them. If I don't, it ain't gonna bother me. Um, so the other ones are, like I mentioned before, or previously in another video, is the American uh, releases though, which is stuff like Where in the Times, Carmen San Diego, Where in the World, sorry, it's Carmen San Diego. Obviously, based off of the a series, a TV show that I never watched, which is obviously the Where is Carmen San Diego one. So on Mega Drive, there's Where in Time, I think it is. Um, equally, I thought, when I bought this, I thought this was a UK one, just hang on Safari Hunt. It's not. It's a US one. So there's a couple of US exclusives. Again, I think it's King, King's Quest, ALF. There's not many. There's a, there's a few. And again, if I see them, I'll grab them. I ain't actively going out to seek them. That's not what it's about. And then probably one of the, the hard to find items for the mass system. Um, these don't come up very often. If you do see them about, guys, snap, snap them up for sure. So the action replay car. For the mass system, uh, mine unfortunately doesn't have the instructions. But again, I did pay a lot for this from Germany, so I'm not too fussed. But it's enough for me. So the last thing, again, which I don't think we didn't get this here, which is a sports pad. So there's a couple of um, US exclusive ones: hockey, American football. I think that used it, which is effectively a trap. If you could use this for Marble Madness would be awesome, I'll have to check that out actually. Um, but Craig, Mix36 sent me that. So, again, the YouTube, the generosity of the YouTube community is uh, unknown. It's unmatched. So that's it. That's my collection. That's what um, people wanted, expected. Uh, I'll have to edit it and see what I think myself. Um, but yeah, it... it <laughs> thing was it's not it, if I completed say a Super Nintendo one which is really again a lot of people sort of my age you know, late 30s Pete annoying kind of people Jay Jay's older he's, he's really old Jay Jay's like Yoda um, but if that's what your system was that's there, there's more nostalgia pull to that if that makes sense so the mass system was inadvertently uh, a sort of side collection, well it wasn't even a side collection, it, I just fell into it. Um, 
that's not to say I don't appreciate. I, I, I've got obviously I have got nostalgia tied to it, as you as you, as you probably heard. Um, but yeah, I, I mean to, to, to have to, to have completed something is, is great. Don't get me wrong; it's not being fucking sold. I don't care. It, it will just it'll be mine to look at. And if I want to look at it, I want to look at it. If I want to fucking play it, I'll play it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but yeah, it, it just feels nice to, to have completed something and to 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 have finalised um, a sort of chapter. I think. Uh, I mean, it's, this is not a long going thing. It's not going to be all. Oh, now I'm going to go and complete. I don't know, fucking PS One or. Whatever. The only other thing that the only other system I might consider looking at, and that, again that's only because it's just been inadvertently collected for, is the, is the GameCube. Uh, I think I'm not even quite halfway. And that Duncan Woolly Weeble, I think he's only got about 80 games left, which you think 80 games is a lot. Uh, I think the library is about 600. I think. Well, I'm two two thirty. I need two sixty. So yeah, 500 odd games. 500-ish plush games. Um, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, yeah, if anyone's got any uh, upgrades or the cards or some of the manuals, give me a shout. Work some out. Bit of cash, trade something. The yeah, light. So that's so I'm gonna leave you there. I hope that was enjoyable. I hope that's kind of what people were after, uh, I don't know. A little bit of waffle, I know, a little bit of, probably not quite as much as where I got X and Y from, because to be honest, it's been three years and I don't really remember uh, exactly where everything come from. And a lot of stuff, the sort of games, I've actually upgraded as well. So, yeah, it, it has been good. I've enjoyed it, I have enjoyed it. Um, but it's nice to finish it as well. It's nice to sort of get to the end and say, that's it done. People say, oh, you haven't done it though, you haven't got Smurfs too. Well, Fuck that, that's fucking, that was a, literally a niche game that was released in like fucking Czechoslovakia, Italy and somewhere else. Uh, mine is a, a full UK power release, so Smurfs 2 was never released in the UK, so bollocks to it. If, if, if I can get it, I'll get it. If I can't, no bother. Right guys, take it easy, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.